Hi, my name is Andrea Hutchison. I'm paparazzi consultant um, 7502 on my producer with the company. And I'm a little bit nervous because I didn't expect so many people to watch this video uh, with me showing about Facebook parties, but I'm excited to show you and I hope it can be a blessing to you. So right now we're in a live um, video. So I'm not going to be able to answer your questions right now or see anything that you're doing but I will be on the Facebook event and you will be able to ask questions at the end. But I want to walk you through it uh, on how to do Facebook parties. I don't want to make it too long because many of you kind of know what I do. So it should be just kind of a refreshment. But I have changed a few things uh, about ordering at the end, how to check out people because that's the important part. Um, to tell you a bit about me, just a little bit, um, I've been with the company for over two years now. Um, I've been doing Facebook parties for almost a year, and it's been great. Um, lately, I was really afraid about the change with the website because, you know, customers, this is the truth, okay? Customers want to be on Facebook. They don't want to go to your link to buy stuff. Unless they really, really want to buy something, they're going to go to the link. And I'm not saying... Everybody's that way, but majority of the people are that way. They don't want to go to a link. They want you to do everything for them. So to say it's simple, <laughs> they just don't want to go to your website, okay? So basically what I've changed, and I, I don't know, God brought that idea to me. Um, and I stopped doing Facebook parties since we got the website. And then I started back again in September. And it was kind of confusing how I did it because I was really mad at paparazzi. I was like, well, you're shipping my orders and it's saying my name. You're shipping it to the right address, but it's saying my name because it was my customer account. So it didn't work out. So now I found a different way to check out people. So anyway, uh, last month I could have made, um, I think I did, if it wasn't because people pay me October the 1st, I would have sold around a thousand PV or more last month, just online, just with online selling. Okay, and that's all from my back office. I did all the orders for them. I didn't have any issues. I had one, but it was her fault, so it wasn't my fault. So anyway, let's go to the point of this video. So, um, okay, let me share my screen for a second. Uh, Alrighty, so we're on my paparazzi website. Basically, what you do at a party, I'm going to go to the event. You create the event. Um, let me put it over here. If you don't know how to create an event, uh, that's the first thing you need to know. And you create one. And it's basically, now I have changed my method of doing a party when i created the event before i did it public but it has been putting people in jail on facebook jail and so i stopped doing that and i've been doing guests and friends or invite only um with my hostess so i put the title i put the description i put the place and a date i usually do my parties a week in advance if not five days Whichever you want to do, it's fine. Put a description. It has to be short and sweet so you don't bore anybody. Um, so here's the event. I put a cover letter, uh, cover photo. And like I've been doing with you guys, I've been posting pictures reminding you on, you know, about the party. So I put suggestions, and that's what you need to do whenever you're uh, you're doing a Facebook party. You need to put suggestions to your customers how to do a hippie headband, how to put your hair up, how to, you know, anything like that. Now, this game right here will help you book more parties. I posted it last time when Michelle, one of my leaders, told me to do a, a you know, it, it was a contest. So I booked a lot of parties. I can't remember how many. It was tons of parties just by posting this and tagging my friends in it. Now, I not only did this, but I copied this and I messaged each and one of my friends that I thought they would really would like to do a party. So you may want to do that also 
copy this, control C, or copy, and then just send it to your, uh, you know, private message your friends. Private messaging is very important. You have to make this personal. You just don't have to just, hey, send a group message. It doesn't work that way. It's not great to do that. Okay, you have to make it personal. And that's why all the customers that I have, they know that I'm going to make it very, they're going to be my priority. And they know they're, they're important to me. So where can you find the pictures that I'll be posting uh, today? You just go to Pinterest. I downloaded almost all the pictures that I have um, on Pinterest. So you can, uh, you know, you can find them there. I also have a few videos in there that you can look at. So that's Pinterest. All righty. So let me close this up. And there I am. So anyway, uh, so try to make this uh, an invite only or, you know, guests and friends invite so that they can invite their friends. So what I do at the beginning is I post a picture uh, with a coupon on it. And I found that coupon on Google, and I'm going to post it here if you want to use it. It's without my information. I just found it on Google. And I usually say, um, you know, I'm not going to post it there, but I usually say whoever, um, whoever, if we get to 20 people on our going list, um, that, that I will get a random, you know, I will pick somebody uh, that will win $5 on their order off. Make sure that you put a refresh photos so that they know they need to refresh. I also have rules, and this is very important. Uh, Facebook pictures and rules. I'm going to look for the rules picture. Rules are very important for them to understand. So basically, I I am doing my parties the same old way that I've been doing them all along. And it has been working well. My host has actually asked me to do it that way. I don't do them because I just want to. I don't really want to spend two hours on the computer and posting pictures. But it actually has been really fun because I don't stress out about inventory. So the rules are basically everything. I don't know who created this. I didn't create it. Um, so whoever did, awesome job creating this picture. So I do tell them that I only have one picture. and. There's only one item available. Now, let me tell you why I say that. It, it creates more action. It creates people to be more interested. It creates them to, you know, be faster. So it's kind of like an auction. They have to be the first one to put soul under the picture. But I know, I know what you're saying. We have tons of inventory on our back office. And, I, and now I'm going to explain what to do next. So once they put soul on the item, I emphasize the must-have picture. So the must-have picture is important because you got to let them know that they can put must-have under the picture that has already been sold. So what are you saying, Andrea? So you're just doing double? Well, this helps because at the end, whenever you check them out, you're going to be able to look at all the must-have pictures, and we know that we have that inventory on our back office. So we're going to be able to order it for them, but they don't know that, okay? They're going to be like, oh, Andrea, you're so awesome. Thank you so much for fun finding that item that I really, really wanted. So you're going to be like, oh, you're so welcome. I was just thinking about you and everything. So that's why I post a must-have picture. Now, my late... My latest party was of 196 pieces that I sold online within three days. And I had a lot of must-have must have and must-have items. They were like crazy over them, and they were fighting over it. And I was like, it's okay. I'll try to find it for you. All right, so that's the beginning. And, of course, you, if you have watched my other videos, um, I post a lot of pictures about you know, how to do your hair and how to put your uh, bracelets and all that. So that's what you post. Okay, now basically let's go to the nitty-gritty of all this because I know that you guys know a lot about how to post. Uh, but basically what I do, how do I post the pictures that I have in the back office? So I go to my login. Then I go to orders. 
then I go to new order and it's going to take me to another, um, another page. But let me show you something really quick while it's down. Come on. I'm trying to be professional here. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, okay, let's get out of here. Come on. Okay. So, here's my folder, but you cannot see it because I'm not sharing it. So, let me get you to that. Because I really want you to see my folder. All right. Give me just a second. I know, I know. Oh, come on, computer. Okay, now you're going to see my face because I have to change uh, my screen share, so. Mm. Alright, so. Hopefully you're seeing my folders right now. And there's different folders that I've created. And so, oh, hello. Okay, so I have Facebook pictures. That's what you need to have. All your Facebook pictures downloaded to there. And then I have Facebook parties. Now, on Facebook parties, here's all the parties I've done. You know, you can see them on all parties, all the Facebook parties I've done. So, um, but I want you to create a new folder. So you basically go and create a new folder. That's the folder you're going to use to download all the items that are in the back office. Now, I know, I know, let me um, share my other screen. Well, there you see me. So let me share my other screen. Okay. So here it is. So we're in the back office. I start posting the fashion fix because we know that paparazzi has a lot of those items. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a big deal. I'm going to save this picture right here. This is Fashion Fix. And I'm going to post it at the party. And I'm going to make it a huge deal saying, oh, this is a Fashion Fix. There's only available within uh, a month. And you will not see it again. It, they will sell out or something like that. So people are going to be looking at all the new cute faces. So how do I save them? I know that you heard me talk about this little guy here, which downloads a lot of pictures really quick. It's true, but that can be one way that you can download the pictures. To me, that's, I don't know. I think sometimes I have OCD, so I have to do it a different way now. So I basically just right click on the picture. I save the picture just and I put it on my folder. I really don't know if you can see my folder. But I put it on my folder and it's saved right there. And then I copy this description and control C or right click and copy. And I go to my event and I post the picture I just saved. So I go post and I'll show. So that's basically what I do, and of course I have to refresh, but it'll show up there. Please bear with me, I'm nervous. Uh, so, so I post a picture on there and I talk about the fashion fix and how awesome it is and everything. So you post the pictures, then I go back to my orders again, and I go to the next picture and I save the picture. So I control C. Save picture on the album that I created, which is empty. And then I go post picture and you post the description and you put, you put post and that's how you're posting. And that's all I do. And it's really fast. It doesn't take long. 
And you can even, if you're on the back office, whenever you get necklaces, the first night maybe I post until from one through four, and I just keep going later the next day. If I have more time, I post more. If I don't, it's fine. If you just want to start seeing everything, just put view all from there and post the pictures. Control C, I mean, control, I mean, right click, save, and then copy description, go to your event, look for the picture, post. Okay, it's very simple. Now, the part that you have been struggling with is the checkout part, and that's why you're watching this video because the checkout part is awesome. Okay, so you're gonna go to party. Alrighty. So I hope many of you understand this. If not, you can watch some of my other videos where I explain really with so much detail on what to post at the parties, okay? But basically, I really want to show you how to do a checkout. The checkout is where everybody's dying and they're like, what am I going to do? How am I going to take the customer's credit card number? How am I going to do this? How am I going to create a customer? So basically, and this is the part I've changed everything, okay? At the checkout part, I do uh, PayPal. I do, I say, uh, let me see if I can find one of my parties. I am going to answer parties after I finish this. Just bear with me. Okay. So this was one of my recent parties. And by right there. Okay, so. I posted a checkout picture and this is what it says. Let me copy it and post it in that group so that you can see it. If you, well, you cannot see it because I'm not there. So, alrighty, so I'm gonna post this and you're gonna see the checkout picture. So I do my parties one to three days. Now I'm thinking about just doing them one and just two days, okay? Because items are selling out really, really fast, and I don't want my customers to get mad at me. And I know you're saying, Andrea, how do you do? How do you make sure that they get what they ask for? I'll tell you in a minute. Now it says scary, but that was my last hostess. So um, this is what I post. This is what I'm. Uh, we're supposed to be on Facebook. You're supposed to be on the G Plus account. This Facebook event is just for you to see the pictures that are here so that you can look at them later and maybe copy some of the information I'm giving you. But here, read this carefully. It says, you know, if you post all under the item. So they're going to post their email address here. Now, I get their phone number just in case. Um, maybe I do want to call them and get their credit card number. But to me, it's just... It's just a pain because people don't have time, just like me. <laughs> they don't have time and they're like, I cannot just give you my, you know, I mean, they don't even know me, okay? So basically, I take their, uh, their email and I send them a PayPal invoice. When I send them the PayPal invoice and they pay for it, I'm going to receive a lot of the information they're giving me. And let me see if I can pull some of it up. So let me go to PayPal. I know it's a lot to take in in one night, and I promise I will do separate videos. Um, please don't look at all my information, okay. But basically, okay, let's go back to orders while that's loading. So you are going to a party, okay? And you are going to create a... Uh, a party for your hostess. So how do you create a party? You just add a new event. You choose the hostess. I'm going to choose myself just to show you how this works. You can create a new hostess. The hostess basically, she's not going to be logging in. You're going to be doing all the work, okay? So don't worry about, oh, she cannot get into her account because Password and something, something. Don't worry about that. Because you're the one who's going to put her order in. Okay? 
So you do direct shipping, you put the date of the event. I'm going to put today's date. You put a description. And then you just leave it that way. So it's right there. So let's say you. So there's my party, okay? Now, you're going to have customers posting their email addresses here. Party has finished. You were supposed to save all the pictures where they bought everything. And how do you do that? Let me see if I can. I can show you. You're going to scroll all the way down after the party ends. And you're going to go to the pictures. You're going to click on the pictures. If Julie example Julie put soul under the picture you're gonna click on the picture you're gonna save either the name or the item number by saying control C and then you're gonna save the image as okay you're gonna save it and you're gonna put on the folder I don't think you can see my folder right now so you're gonna put Julie one and you're gonna put the item well you're going to put the item number. That's how you're going to save this picture as, okay? That's how you're going to save it. On the folder, okay? And then you're just going to, and then if Julie bought another piece, you're going to put Julie 2 and the item number, okay? If she bought another piece. And you just keep going and going and going uh, to see how many. How do you invoice someone? You send them a private message and you said, Julie, you have bought this item and this item. And you just send them the whole pictures of all the pictures you have sent them that she has bought, okay? And then I can get in the train. I got an error. I was showing on the tiny screen. Uh, Angela, you're going to be able to look at the training afterwards. Um, so anyway, okay, so we're going to go here. Now, how do you put the orders for your customers? So you do a new order, okay? And where it says choose one, you're going to say create order for a new guest. And you're going to start order because they're not a guest from you. So you're going to put their first name. I'm going to put my husband's name, Daniel, and then Hutchison. And then I'm going to go to billing street and I'm gonna put their address how do you find that address let me go to invoicing so I'm gonna alternative I created this just to show you how it looks like so when oh come on I'm having a rough night, huh? All right, so they paid. That's me. That's my email address. So where the where it says more information, you're going to have all their information. So you don't really have to ask for anything unless you want to, their phone number. So you're going to go copy their name, put it in there. Then you go back to PayPal, get their address. So you copy their address. Are you getting the picture? I hope you are. You paste it, then you go back again. This is apartment B. Copy, paste. Okay. And then you copy. Let me put my old address to show you how is it going to look like. 45. I can't remember my old address. Let's just say 4515. <laughs> And then there's nothing. And the zip code. Okay. So it's going to take me to down. And I'm going to put on. That's our address, okay? And I'm going to put everything back to there because that's the shipping. And I put a phone number. If they didn't send you their phone number, I recommend that you get it for them. If you cannot get it from them, put your cell phone number. Okay? And I save it. So there's Daniel and his account. So I start order. So since you're going to do the order for them, remember I told you to save the item number? 
Okay, so let's say she bought the stroke midnight. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to add the item and add the item. Okay. Come on. Seriously, don't do this to me. Okay, there it is. I'm going to put the item. And there it is. See, it's showing up here. It's very simple because you're going to be looking at your at the pictures of the item. So you just copy the item number and you just paste it in there. Now, do you see this? Even though I created Daniel's account and it shows his shipping address, the billing address shows my name with my information. Well, guess what? I do want this right here because since they're paying me with PayPal, I already got my, if you haven't got your debit card, uh, PayPal account, you need to, you need to get a debit card from PayPal because everything that they pay you, it goes automatically to that account. So you can make the orders that day whenever they pay you. So I'm going to add new credit card payment. And since Daniel owes 1130, I'm going to put my credit card number and everything. And I'm going to change the street because it has to be mine because it's my credit card or debit card. So I put my name and I put my zip code because if you don't put your information, if you're paying for their order, since they PayPal you the money, then it won't go through if it's not your information. So uh, click back to here. Uh, come on. I want to go back. Okay. There it is. So I want to keep adding items, and it's gonna. I'm gonna charge them for shipping. Let me show you. I cannot show you because I cannot show people's information. But basically, what I do is I go to PayPal invoice invoice and creating invoice. There's gonna be people that are going to win pieces i mailed those separate from the account i put their email address i put their item number and everything i charged them 5.95 and they're aware of it because it's going to go through the through the back office so i don't have to do anything i basically just put in the orders for them and paparazzi ships it to them if I'm giving a free piece. I put the uh, I put free shipping or free item for booking a party or free item for playing, and I put it in there. I do charge it. I put my taxes, and then right here on the discount part, I put five forty eight, so that it doesn't charge them anything. Well, five forty two, but only this. Well, I put four. 542. See, so it only charged them the shipping. I even if it's the hostess, I'm gonna charge the hostess a 595 because I have to put her order in. So I get I put free hostess items. Where is the hostess items? Hostess free items, and I put how many items she got for free, and then I put the discount here. I do make her pay taxes because. She still has to pay self taxes, even though she got them for free. All right, so that's the credit card part, and it's very simple. And as you can see, let me go to my organization. Uh, you can see all my customers right here, and that's just I just started this, so um, I have a lot of I created those customers accounts for them, and. It's very simple, and they're right there. See, there's Daniel, my husband, and he's right there. And you don't have to worry about anything because they're your faithful customers. So if they ever want to go through the website, their zip, uh, their zip code will be their password because I didn't create a password for them. I just created their account. So it will go there, and they will be putting the orders in. So let me go back to the picture. That's the checkout part. And, um, it's 9.32, so I don't want to make it long because many people are going to be watching this. 
Uh, can you talk louder? I'm sorry. Can you hear me? <laughs> sorry. Okay. So, uh, all right. So that's how you save it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so slow. I mean, so, all right. I got nervous now. So that's how you're going to do the Facebook thing. I don't know why it's not loud. I really don't know. I'm sorry. Okay. So I'm going to put uh, questions and answer. Just that helps me because I'm really nervous and I really. Okay. Questions and answers. So pose your questions there. If you have a question, don't leave the screen. Just go to your other tab right here and ask questions on the pictures. Make sure that you refresh the screen so that you can see it. But Facebook parties are really easy. They're not hard. Just trying to get what they order. And let me see if I can show you uh, someone's. Let me see if I can share my screen with you. Okay, I'm really close. So let me share my other screen right here. So I'm going to go to all parties. Uh, I don't know. Let's just go to August party, okay? So as you can see my folder, see how I name it by Beverly? And those are the items that have been shipped, okay? So, sorry. Okay, so I just put their name and I put the number of how many items they bought. I put, if they want something, I put free so that I remember that they need to get that for free so I can ship it to them. Now, this is an old party. It doesn't have the item numbers in it. So, uh, let me see if I can find. Where's my recent party? 9-11. Let's do Julie's. Okay. So see, if it's the hostess, I put hostess one. Now those are the items I have in hand, so I didn't put any item number. But see how it goes here, name, number, and item number. So whenever I go back, I just kind of click on it. And I copy this and I go to the paparazzi page to make sure that the item is there. So if she wants something, I put Michelle free. And then I go to the next one and see how in order they're in order. So um, those are those are shipped. You can actually put an order in if she lives close to them and they want to get the items for free. You can actually send the order to the hostess and she can deliver it. That will be the most easiest part. And you can just do an order on the back office and then just you know pay yourself your forty five percent. But I'm going to get pay on the 20th, uh, my commission, because I did the orders for them. So let me get out of here. Uh, let me switch screens to see if you have any questions. And I'm sorry, I'm so nervous. I will be, um, I will be doing uh, other videos maybe to explain better myself. So, okay. So going back to the... All right, so let me see if I have any questions. And that helps a lot because I'm, you know, I can't think of everything right now. So how many times do you pre-post before the party? I pre-post, I, if I created the party a week before, then I post each day. Each day I tell them. Hostess coaching is very important. If the hostess can send a private message to the people, it's really important that she does that. Um, if you can, if he doesn't know what to say, just just you do it. You create something that you will tell your friends uh, so that they can come to your party. That is not that you're not selling anything, but just for fun, just for fun, you know. Let's go. How's this coaching is very important. Okay, is there other ways to do this besides PayPal, or should we only use PayPal? To me, it's easier to use PayPal because I have it on my account. I know it takes fees whenever you're doing, uh, you know, you're doing the invoices. But to me, it's easier. Yes, there is another way, and that will be to do the customer. So you go to party. Uh, you go to the party. 
you add the customer so right here so Daniel is created so what you need to do is just edit the information and put his information right here on the billing part okay because that has to match with the credit card number that you're using so you're gonna still do the order for them because that's the main purpose of doing this for you this event I created it is to explain to you that you have to do the orders for them because they're not going to go to your website okay they're they're not and I've learned that uh, you know whenever I started it uh, with the website so they're not going to go to your website so forget about that so whenever you're doing the orders just change the billing address and the name it has to match the credit card number and you just call them and just put their credit card number in there Okay, uh, PayPal debit cards don't cost money. So if you can get a PayPal debit card, I recommend that you do so because it's free. You just get it for free. Let me see if I can see. I did a video on how to get the PayPal debit card. It's not a PayPal here that's to take money, but it's a PayPal right here. If you go to manage your business, there's a PayPal debit card. And it explains everything and you just apply apply for it and it's just like a debit card all the money right here i have 162 dollars right now uh, 169 okay all that money is gonna go to your debit card so you can use it that same day instead of you know instead of taking that withdrawing that money and sending it to your bank account that takes forever that takes like three to four days and i cannot wait i have to put the order in and as you can see paparazzi already as you can see all my orders they're all about paparazzi invoices and and everything in there so because i've been putting the orders in for them so i haven't had a party this week but i had uh 292 dollars coming in uh from orders and everything to see um, right here well I sometimes buy Wendy so <laughs> to see all the all the orders go there and paparazzi is taking the money out I did have one of the hostess when it shipped to her so I didn't have to uh, mail it to each and one of them she's the one who's gonna be giving the orders to them I did mail her all the invoices so that she knows what to give to each and one of their friends so okay also wondering how you go about with cash payments if you have it on hand if i have it on hand i just put my credit card number in there and i order it why would you you know why would you wait uh to put the order in you have the money so you can deposit it into your bank uh so i just go there i create their account i do get their information because i want them to be my customers you want them to be your customers so Okay, let's go to the next one. I thought we had to have the jewelry in our possession to post them on the party. Is it okay if we don't have the jewelry? Okay, I did call paparazzi and I made sure that I was doing everything with the policies and procedures. Since I'm not taking the money yet, I haven't put the order in. So see, whenever I'm doing the checkout pictures, there are gonna be items that are gonna be sold out, okay? And that's where you need to work on your sense uh, because you're going to know that we all know that the Russell Dussel item, that bracelet that we had before, it was going to be sold out. So I bought like 20 of them before they sold out. So what happened at my party, uh, that item wasn't there anymore. I mean, it sold out within, within two days and my party closed in the third day. So I already bought the item. So I just ship it to them separately. Uh, you don't have to. I'm not taking the money uh, until I put their order in. So once that same day that I'm closing the party, Prisha, that same day that I'm doing the party, I am making sure that the items are in the back office. So I go the same day and I message them and I tell them they only have 24 hours to pay me because if not, those items might not be there anymore. So I'm not taking the money uh, until I know that the items are here. If they're not here, I'm not going to take their money. So I'm not breaking anything. Uh, all right. So you have to make sure that same day that you're going to send them the invoice, the same day that you're going to send those pictures in a private message, you have to make sure that the items are here. 
don't you send them the invoice because you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna have issues if you're sending them the invoice the day before and you're waiting for them to pay with them for 80 48 hours okay I have for example I had Jessica one of my customers she bought something and I told her and she couldn't pay until Friday which is fine but I told her Jessica before you pay your invoice I have to make sure that those items are still in you know in the store because if not I'm not gonna be able to to get your money and if that case happened which I hope you're not waiting until then um, you can order it yourself okay and then mail it to them but I don't want to do that I don't want I don't want to mix up Facebook parties with my events and home parties and stuff so oh but you can you can return the money you can send them the 535 that they pay or however many taxes they pay send them back to them but I don't recommend doing that I do it the same day the same time I send them the pictures and a message I'm gonna do this Krisha oh, Shelby let me just do a message okay Shelby you're gonna be my guinea pig so I'm gonna send a picture with all the items that she bought okay just to show you how this works I, I tell them thank you so much for coming to my party I appreciate you and I tell them how many pieces for free the hostess won and and she's gonna be like oh wow and I tell them would you like to book a party and they're like yeah you know cuz seeing how many pieces the hostess won then you know you're gonna be like that so I'm sending her the pictures this is how I do it I send them a pre post telling them how thankful I am for them to come into my party and then I send them the pictures to make sure and to confirm that those are the items that she wants but hey before I send them the pictures I went to the back office and I made sure that those items were on sale now the hostess because she has been paying attention she's gonna tell me Andrea I am missing two items and I'm gonna tell her I'm sorry those items have been sold and I cannot sell it to you because I don't have them anymore so she's gonna be like okay it's not a problem and then I tell them okay so you bought one two three four five six seven eight nine ten items so you get one free and I send her a mystery free piece or she can pick whatever piece she wants and then I send them I send her the invoice that's when I do it and I tell her you have 24 hours because those items might not be available after that okay okay I want to know that too that's what I thought okay Andrea, do you do events and home parties very much, or would you say that most of your sales come from Facebook parties? No. Uh, not most of my Facebook sales come, uh, I'm sorry, not most of my sales come from Facebook parties. I do home parties, I do basket parties, I do events, and I do other stuff. I'm sorry, Shelby, you are you might be really confused. <laughs> sorry, you'll know whenever you're watching this video again. All right, so, yes, Candace, I do a lot of stuff. I don't just sit around doing on Facebook parties because you cannot depend just on Facebook parties you have to do everything and I love doing home parties uh, I love doing basket parties because those are awesome those are just amazing and you should try them if you don't know what it is as your sponsor um, okay so what do you do if the items are out of stock when you got to order them well see you're gonna know which item is the most popular so I'm gonna order those like a bulk of them maybe 10 pieces of them if I know I can sell them all you know I order even more so I make sure that those items I have them because you know you're gonna have your group and people are gonna talk about oh those items are cute and I want to get them so I get them before them but like I explained before I make sure that all the items are there before I send them the invoice and I send them the pictures I hope that makes sense so will the customer shop by their customer number and their zip code um, if they ever want to shop again with you maybe they don't want to go to the website maybe they do but if they don't want to go to the website they just come to your other Facebook party but if they go to the website it will be their customer number and their zip code yes it will be their email address actually and their zip code that's that's the answer if you have any issues with them logging in um, just call corporate they should be able to fix it but I'm pretty sure that the customer uh, will be able to get into it with their email and their zip code. How many pics do you post? I post tons of them because if you're giving giving them variety, then you'll be able to sell more. Now I know Angela that you do folders. Folders are amazing. Uh, I just I just like more interaction. But folders work as well. I mean it's even faster. And you know who doesn't like 
who doesn't like 30 minute parties so you can do it the same way just make sure that when you're posting those folders that you are not um you're not those items are still in the back office just make sure that they're still there don't just post a folder and then a week later they're still there and then they're going to be wanting that item so uh do you mention five dollars plus tax and do you ever charge lower shipping if a person only orders one item if a person only orders one item i tell them do you have any friends that would like to split the cost of shipping with you and she'll be like yes i do i usually have a they usually have a friend closer friend that can put that item into their order uh if she doesn't have any i tell her hey honey i can order it for you and and but it will take seven days but i don't want you to pay 5.95 for just one piece and they'll be like oh you're so awesome and you're so nice and yes i'll wait but basically they just do it they just split it with their friend what is the average number of people that attend your Facebook parties? I say, because I do that coupon thing, um, I say about 20 to 40 people that attend my Facebook parties. Because I tell the hostess to private message each and one of them. If the hostess is really good, then your party will be successful. I'm not successful because uh, you, because of me. I'm successful because the hostess makes me successful. She does her job, and I, my job is to coach her on what to do. And, of course, God plays the role there because he has blessed me beyond measure on everything that I have. So if you enter your, your PayPal debit card number into pay for a customer order, that what prevents them from pulling that up and using it when they log in later? It won't pull up because I... I checked, like I've done my own, my own, you know, my own search because I don't want my credit card number to be there. So they're not, they, they, it won't be showing if I do it through me on my back office. Um, if you want to check in that, I think we can call corporate to make sure, but I've tried it before, like creating other people's account and putting an order in with them and then go into their account and making sure that my credit card number is not still there so you have to put your whole account number like like let me show you just so that you are not nervous about it okay so I go to shop and I go to my customer login because that's what they're gonna do so and then I log in sign in I put my username uh, which is usually my email and then I go see how many this is how I used to do it before it was it was a chaos <laughs> uh, but I did many orders through that so whenever I choose somebody let's say myself oh man okay so I'm gonna go shop okay and I'm gonna pick this item right here and I'm gonna go pay come on I'm gonna go pay for the item because I'm the customer and then see I'm gonna check out okay and by checking out I'm gonna just use my information chip here and bill here so I go down here and press it to check out Hello. Come on. Okay, well that's loading, so let me come back to that question, okay? But it shouldn't it shouldn't take your customer uh, your customer shouldn't take your credit card number in it, so and basically all my customers if they ever came back they just went to a facebook party and they asked questions if you uh, okay i'm gonna come back to you these are good questions i like to hear answers too please okay i answer it i step out to put the kids in bed and let them miss it a bit it's uh, uh, confusing <laughs> i know we're i'm so i'm so sorry so when do you announce the winner for this i announce it at the end of the party 
Uh, you do roll once. Party time. Am I missing something? Okay, so no more questions. I will be doing, um, if you have any more questions, I'll be doing more videos about this. It's almost 10 o'clock Eastern time, but I don't see any more questions. I think I answered them all, except for the one about the credit card. Okay, see? So we're on my shopping bag. And there's my not there's my name and there's my last name, but there's not information in it. There's nothing because I never saved it. So it says shipping to and billing to, and then I just put my credit card number in there and everything. So it doesn't save it. Like, and I've used this account so many times. So unless you save it on your computer, then it will be saved, but not if. You just did the order for your customer. So, Shelby, I am so sorry. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll message you in a minute. Um, so, I hope that you enjoyed. And I hope I didn't make it easier on the checkout part. Because I know that that's where you guys have been struggling with. Um, let me see, Angel. If you have more questions. Oh, where did it go? Okay, wait. There's more questions. Okay. I'm sorry I'm slow. Thank you so much, Candace. I hope it was helpful. And I'm sorry that I get, you know, I get nervous. Because I don't do this that often, okay? I'm having trouble right-clicking the pictures in the back office. It only assumes any suggestions. Yes, you don't click on the big pictures. You click on the small pictures. You right-click and save as image, okay? That's what you need to do. Um, you, thank you, Joyce. I love you. You're so awesome. Oh, you're so welcome, and I hope it has been a help. And I'll be doing shorter videos so that you don't have to watch this whole video about the Facebook parties. And if you have any suggestions, just let me know, and I'll do a video for you. It just helps. I'm a visual person, so I need I need to see it. So, oh, Mary, you must have a lot of questions. Let me see. Uh, well, I don't see it, so <laughs> I have to. Something is wrong with Facebook. I hope you guys are not doing a Facebook party because click on yes. They receive an invoice with the item, so they won't have your address, right? Yes, yes, Mary. It won't. Before it didn't have my address. It just had my name on the shipping label. It went to their house, but it had my name, and that can cause many troubles. You know, with GPS and everything with I mean USPS so but now um, that doesn't happen they just go it goes directly to them so there's no issue with the customer or anything so make sure that you make it personal and just because they order from you and you put the order on the back office doesn't mean that you're not gonna send them a, a, a letter or something saying thank you for your order I sometimes I do send them the free piece just because I make them come back to me and I remind them that I'm here. You know, if the um, customers are just, you have to make them feel important because they're your customers. So, okay. <laughs> Love you. Thank you, Michelle. You're awesome. Uh, thank you for the support. Thank you so much. And I hope it's been a help. All right. I'm going to let you go because I know you want to watch the, um, the football game and everything so thank you so much thank you thank you so much for everything so i'll see you later with other videos and thank you